Okay, we got this hamster. I can't even remember what his name is. He's dearly departed now. <laughs> uh, I think their warranty's up after two years, isn't it? Anyway, uh, I'm going to do the control J. Uh, what I'm going to do is bring another picture into this. This cat is ours. Uh, this is Joe, and he is of no threat actually to that hamster or anything because he's just very laid back. Anyway, I'm going to bring Joe into this picture, so I'm going to go ahead and drag this picture of Joe onto the picture of the hamster. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the layer order and I'm going to bring that extra picture of the hamster so that it's on top. So as you see, when I toggle this on and off, you can't see that cat picture because this one's on top. So I'm just going to change the opacity of this picture down just a little bit so I can kind of see what I'm doing. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a layer mask and I want to bring some of this picture up from the second. So I've got to scrub some of this picture away and I've got to say, okay, don't mask this part of the picture. So I've got my uh, brush. I'm going to choose, uh, I've chosen a brush that's probably three quarters of the weight of the hardness. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start, oh, you know what, that is, that's a little bit too hard. I don't like that. I'm going to gonna go down to about here and bring the brush size up a little bit. I'm going to start bringing this cat back into this, this picture. I'll change the opacity of this back up now that I know where the cat is. focus of this isn't going to matter because I'm actually going to fade this cat out a bit. I don't know what that is. I guess that was like some kind of cloth. Okay, so I don't like that, so I press the S X key and bring the white back and just sort of paint that back on again. Okay, so I could probably do a little bit more. Whoops, I got that X. So I'll back up, go back to the black, and bring a little bit more of that cat. Okay, so we got the cat looking at the at the hamster. The hamster sort of feeling as if somebody's watching him. Let's go back to this cat layer now, and we want this be kind of sort of a sneaky shot. So we just got to decide. It's sort of like I taught I taught putty tat. You know, and if we go back to this layer here, I don't I don't like this part of the cat's body being in there as much. I'm going to fade that out and bring some of that black back by bringing up my brush size. Let's just do a sweep across there. Oops, I'm in the wrong color. Go back. X, we got to go to white. <laughs> I'm in the wrong layer. Should I say I got to click inside the layer, then go to white, and then we can start getting rid. I could probably come up a little bit more. There we go. That's looking a lot better. Okay, we can probably finish off by choosing a t 8 by 10 and uh, 300 pixels. Let's crop this. I'm using the arrow keys to kind of center it because I think the mouse, mouse, hamster should be centered. So 
by using the uh, white brush, I am painting stuff back onto the mask. By using the black, I'm scrubbing stuff away from the mask. And there we have a picture collage. That's the end of this tutorial, Anne.